Welcome to Electron Line. Part three, well, we're not going to calculate the sag because the sag is already given. It's five feet. We're going to go back to the original problem. But what we are going to calculate here is the length of the cable. And let's do it for the section from the point C, which is the lowest point in the cable, to the attached point B. Now, we know that the horizontal distance is 50 feet. But we do know there's a sag of five feet between where it's attached at B and where it gets down to right there in the middle of the cable. So how long is that section of cable? The equation we use for the length along the cable, S, is equal to X, the horizontal distance, times this equation right here. We developed this equation in a previous video, and so now you can see that this is the, the result of that. And typically, we only need the first two terms but we're going to add the third term just so you can see that it's really not necessary. So let's plug in the values and see what we get. X, of course, is the horizontal distance. Y sub B is the distance from the lowest point in the cable to where it's attached at B, that's the sag. And X sub B is the distance from the lowest point of the cable, the horizontal distance, to here. That's basically the same value that we have here. So maybe what we want to do is call this x sub b so that you know that this is the same value. Let's plug in the numbers and see what we get. So the length of the cable for the halfway point from the halfway point to where it's attached is equal to the horizontal distance of 50 feet multiplied times 1 plus 2 thirds times the quantity 5 which is the sag divided by the horizontal distance quantity squared and then we're going to add this third term you can see that it's probably not necessary two fifths times the quantity that would be five divided by 50 raised to the fourth power so you see here that this is one tenth one tenth raised to the fourth power is a very small number indeed and of course there's additional terms but we're simply going to ignore those they are so, so small that they really don't contribute anything meaningful Let's calculate what these are and see what we get. So this is 50 feet times the quantity of 1 plus, well, that would be, um, let's see here, that would be 110 squared is 1 100 times 2 thirds. Well, that would be 0 0.00667 to three decimal places, or I should say three significant figures. And then here that would be minus 110,000 times two-fifths, which is 0.4, that would be minus 0 0.00004, and that would be plus, minus, and any additional terms you may want to consider. Let's now multiply that times 50 feet and see what we get. 50 feet times 1 plus, okay, well actually what I'm going to do, instead of rewriting the equation like that, let's just write. So I'm going to multiply the terms together and see what we get. This is equal to 50 times 1, of course, that's 50 feet, plus 50 times 0 0.006667 equals, that would be 0 0.333 feet to three significant figures, of course, they're not that significant, and then minus 50 times that, so we get 0 0.00004 times 50 equals, and we have minus 0 0.002 feet. And of course, any additional terms you may want to consider. But obviously, relative to the horizontal distance of 50 feet, this is very small and this is really insignificant. That's two one thousandths of a foot. Really don't worry too much about that. So this would be equal to 50 point three three and then if you add this two to that that would be three oh that subtract that that would be three three one feet but of course you don't want to keep all those decimal places i think you maybe just want to round it off to one decimal place so round it off to that you get fifty point three feet and this is how you calculate the length of the cable using this binomial expansion that's an equation we derived in a video earlier in the series and that's how we find the length of the cable.